Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Ash, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. So this video is a little bit different than what I normally post. It is actually a sad video. It breaks my heart to post it. Um, I actually didn't know if I was gonna post it or not, but I figured I would because this is the ups and downs of fish keeping, especially with cichlids. Um, so, and I know there's going to be people that have different opinions about what I could have done or what I should have did, and that's okay. So this video is going to be about my male convict. Um, if you guys watched my last Feeding Frenzy video, you would have noticed that he was not in the tank anymore. So I'm going to tell you guys what happened to him. Stay tuned. You guys can see that my male convict is not in this tank anymore. Uh, he used to hide out under this driftwood here. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that he was kind of a jerk and he would try to pick fights with everybody in this tank. Um, and one of these days I figured he would get tuned in and sadly he did. This red devil here beat him up very bad. It happened very quickly. It was overnight. I woke up in the morning and turned the light on and he was in rough shape. Uh, the red devil had him pinned in a corner and was taking chunks out of him and all of his fins are gone. He was in rough shape. So when I saw him, I quickly went to the store and got a divider for my quarantine tank because my green terror is still in there so and then when I got back I quickly got him out and put him in there so but uh, yeah he is definitely rough um, so I'm gonna go show you guys him right now if you guys are, you know, a little squeamish or not really good with like wounds or anything, I would just uh, skip this part. So here he is. He is not in the best shape at all. You can see that he's got a bunch of cuts on this side and all of his fins are gone. Once he moves over to the other side, then you'll see the other side is even worse. Oh, it just breaks my heart to see him like this. He was one of the first fish I ever got. I, it's going to be a year since I first got him. Yeah, it just really it just upsets me. Um, so when I got him out of the tank, I put him in here. I actually had to go for the weekend. Um, and when I got back, he was full of fungus, like so much. It was disgusting and I felt horrible. So I have been treating him um, and 90% of it is gone now. There's just like a little bit on the top of his fin there still. But yeah, majority of it is gone. Um, I hope he turns the other side so you guys can see this other side because the other side is worse. He might not. Okay, so there's the other side. So it's way worse. She really just took a... Ugh. Just beat him up really bad. You can see that he, she was like taking chunks out of this one side. Oh, it just breaks my heart to see him like this. I really hope he gets better. Anyways, he's sharing a tank here with my green terror. She is pretty much good to go back into the big tank. I'm going to put them back in together. Um, so yeah, once I put him back into the tank, I was thinking what am I going to do to help solve this problems that they're having so came up with a few solutions so I'll, I'll uh, show you guys those 
So I have a few solutions. Um, first of all, I made a bunch of different hiding spots. I got my husband to drill out these pots here. Uh, there's like a little hole there and then there's one on the top as well. So there's a way in and a way out. Uh, they're big enough for the little fish to get into, but too small for these guys. My jack back there. Too small for them to get in, but big enough for the little guys to get in. So it will be like a little safe haven for them if these guys do get bad and mean. Um, I also have one over here. Same kind of concept. Smaller doorway though. And then there's a top hole in the top. And I have another one as well upstairs that I'm going to put in here as well. So there's going to be three of those for the little fish that are going to be going in here because I'm going to put my uh, the convict, convict back in here eventually. The green terror and my Texas is going to go in here as well. So, But if that doesn't work, if the red devil still is crazy, um, unfortunately I might have to sell it. It kind of sucks because it is beautiful, but I don't want it to hurt my fish or kill my fish. You know, I don't want any of my fish to get hurt. And I don't have enough money to buy a big tank just for it. So, sucks, but yeah, if it, this doesn't work, then I might have to sell it. But anyways, I'll give you guys an update on my convict in a, about a week or so to see his progress of getting better. Hopefully he heals up, fingers crossed he heals up because, you know, I I love him. He was one of my first fish and I want him to get better. So, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.